Yeah, I reckon this is really, really pretty for things like clubbing, going to a party or whatever. You can't see my top and I look naked. today I'm doing a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now obviously um, it just has a very smoky finish um, really really dark and then it's got a little pop of gold underneath the lash line just here and then super dramatic false eyelashes which are optional of course and then really really bright Barbie pink lips but you could wear any color lips that you wanted with this look so if you want to learn how to do it then just stay tuned the first product I'm going to take is a base and I'm using the solid rose eye primer And then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, and this one here is in dark brown. And it's just a really dark colour. You could use any dark brown base you have, even like a gel eyeliner. Using my finger, I'm just going to blend this in the kind of shape that we want. And on this eye, you can see it just kind of goes up to the crease. So just kind of take it up here and through the crease, and don't blend it too high up towards the brow bone. Now we're going to go in with the Naked 2 palette and the first colour I'm going to go in with is Busted which is the dark brown and I'm just using a flat shader brush to apply it. And then I'm going to go in with the colour Tease which is this one here with a blending brush. This is my favourite one, the Sigma E25. And then I'm going back in with Busted and I'm just going to reapply that on the lid just to build up the intensity again. And then I'm just going to blend it out again just to make it really really nice and smoky. Now with a big flat shader brush just like what I used before but this is a clean one. I'm going in with Foxy which is the pale yellowish highlight shade. And then with the colour Booty Call which is the shimmery pinkish highlight shade. I'm going to take that on the same brush and I'm going to apply that just to the highest part of my brow bone which is right underneath the arch of my eyebrow and then also take a little bit more and I'm just going to put this on the tear duct. On another little shader brush, well this one's actually a concealer brush but I'm just using it for my eyes at the moment. I'm going to apply that just underneath here on the lower lash line to like halfway and then I'm going to apply some on top of that brow just about halfway across my eye. And then I'm just taking my finger and I'm just going to like pat that on and blend it out. Now taking Blackout which is just the black shade on an angled eyeshadow brush. This one here is by Sigma. And I'm just applying a very very small amount of this onto the outer kind of corner. And just blending that inwards. I'm not going into the crease or anything like that. And then last shade we're going to use is the one called Pistol. Which is kind of like a gunmetal grey colour. On a pencil brush and I'm just going to put this into the lower lash line underneath my eye to where half back starts. Now I'm going to apply false eyelashes, my mascara and eyeliners and the false eyelashes I'm using I'm not actually quite sure what the um, number is because I'm reusing these ones but I do know that they are by Nonpareil Boutique so I'll put the link down below where you can get them from I just don't know which number they are. For my liquid eyeliner on my top lash line I'm using Line Steal It Over Maybelline and I'm not doing a wing I'm just stopping at the edge of my eye and then the pencil eyeliner that I'm using is the Revlon Colorstay one which will be going on my waterline and my tight line. For mascara I've been really enjoying this one by Maybelline it's called One by One Volume Express so that's what I'll be using and then I'll come back and we can do the rest of the face. Okay now for the face I'm going to start off by bronzing I'm going to be using my bourgeois um what's this called chocolate bronzer whatever if anyone in New Zealand knows if you can get this online I haven't checked ASOS but they may have it but I need a, a new one um, and I'm going to be using my Sedona Lace favourite bronzing brush, the FBO3, which looks like that. And I just did a review on these brushes if you want to check it out. Um, just going to apply this all over, kind of where I'd naturally get hit by the sun. So down my cheeks, 
and just over my cheeks a little bit through my temple and across the top of my forehead jawline a little bit over the chin and around the nose and then I'm going to contour and I'm going to use Hoola by Benefit which is a bronzing powder it's got no sugar in it which is what I want and I'm using the small contour brush by Sigma just putting that underneath my cheekbones for my blush I'm going to go with something really really pale and kind of not too much not too bright so I'm going to use well dressed by MAC and if you want a cheaper alternative Innocence by e.l.f which is this one here is really really similar And I used a Encore chisel brush to do that. I'm going to take the same brush with my highlighting powder, which is Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And I'm just going to apply that on the tops of my cheekbones. For your lips, you could do pretty much anything. You could do something really bold if you're really out there. Or you could do something really nude. But since most of my tutorials are do nude lips or light pink lips, I'm going to do a bright pink lip. So I'm using Saint Germain by MAC and it's a very, very bright Barbie pink. And that's what that looks like there. Very bright. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. That's basically it. Um, you could even go dark on the lips. I probably could go with... Yeah, it's right. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I reckon this is really, really pretty for things like clubbing, going to a party or whatever. You can't see my top and I look naked. Um, but yeah, I really love this look. I've been wearing it quite a bit and I just think that that little bit of half-baked over top of the brown just adds a little bit of a different twist to it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed as I just said like 20 times and I'll talk to you guys soon.